Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a heck of a haul for you today. I have a three estate sale haul for you. So you might wanna go grab something to drink, a snack, <laughs> and just kinda kick back and relax cause it's gonna be a little while. <laughs> um, I hope everyone's doing good. And uh, I wanna jump right into this haul because I've got a lot of stuff sitting here on my table. So let's get started. All right. Um, I'll do this small amount here and then I can maybe, uh, well, I was gonna put it back in the box, but my cat's in there, so I guess not. Uh, the one estate sale that I went to was um, actually one of our local doctors passed away a couple months ago and uh, they did his estate this Saturday. So I went and um, I didn't get a whole lot really. Um, he was from India and so he had a lot of, um, you know, Middle Eastern um, decor and like elephants and metals and uh, stuff like that. But he did have a few things that I uh, did get. A couple useful things. I did get um, a full pack of copy paper and a half a pack. $1.50 for the two. I think I spent like $18 and some change there. Um, I don't have, I don't know what I did with my receipt. So I got the copy paper. And then I also got a couple rolls. These suckers are heavy of brown packing paper. Um, these were a dollar a roll. And it's pretty, this is probably a four foot long roll. And it has a decent amount of paper left on it. My daughter's laughing at me because she knows I'm killing myself. No, I'm also laughing trying to at lift it. Oh, yes. My cat likes to climb in bags. He doesn't care what's in there. Um, and then I got this one, which is also a four foot roll, but it's probably got a little, little less than half. So those will come in handy for packing all of my sales stuff. Um, okay, then as I always say, when I find random lids, I grab them and this was only a quarter. So I picked it up and uh, it is Pyrex. So if I end up with something that needs a lid, I have it. So always pick lids up when you see them. Um, the, the lids that go with the uh, casserole dishes, like the flat ones, I always pick those up too. So I got that, put that down there. Um, they had some Christmas stuff, um, but it was really not that spectacular. The only reason I picked up these three boxes is because they're shiny bright boxes. Not so much for the ornaments inside, even though they were made in um, Poland. So these were a dollar a box. That one has uh, a catastrophe in the bottom, but all the other ones are, you know, in one piece. So there's this box. Oh my, oh good, she got out of the box. Hold on. <laughs> I can transfer back into the box. Then I got this box. Love the Christmas tree on there. And as I said, these are, uh, these bulbs are made in Poland. Oh, look at this one has, let me show you. This one has stars on it. Very cool. And yes, I don't know if you, you guys probably won't be able to see that, but it does say Poland on the top. And I got this box. So three different, three different styles of boxes. 
So I got those. Then they had uh, quite a collection of Starbucks mugs. But I bought the ones that were, you know, uh, we, we are here mugs or whatever you want to call them. So this one, they were a dollar a cup. This one is Central Park, New York City. I thought this one was awesome. I love this one. And this is an 18 ounce mug and this is from 2007. So this is gonna go on eBay. Banks, please, please get down from there, buddy. This one is, let me take the sticker off. This one is The Hamptons. Woohoo! The Hamptons. Look at this cup. So obviously they traveled and purchased mugs from Starbucks from where they traveled. And this one, you are here. That's, I was correct. Okay. Um... This is 14 ounces. I don't see a year on it because right now it's covered up with another sticker. So let me put these back in the box. Then I got this one. This one is from Houston, Magnolia City, it says. And it has um, all the different places on the back. This one I think is another 18 ounce. This one is 2008. Um, I don't know. I may sell them on eBay or I may just sell them in one of my live sales. But anyway, I thought these were cool mugs. Then I purchased this really pretty milk glass lamp with this ugly lampshade. This is one of those plastic pleated hard pro. Yeah, it's gross. Does not belong on this lamp. But look at this lamp. Isn't that pretty with the brass base? I just love it. It's an excellent shape. Show you a close up of the base. It was only five bucks. So I grabbed that, and this will be in one of my live sales. I love it if I don't keep it, but I probably won't. <laughs> so there was that. I gotta shift some stuff around here. All right. Um, what else did I get from there? I feel like I'm forgetting something, but maybe not. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Maybe not. Yeah. I guess that's all I got at that one. Um, okay. Oh, excuse me. So I hit another one out in North Tonawanda. And I spent, um, actually, I spent, I have the receipt here, $35.20. And I did get some really cool things. Let me get rid of this lampshade. All right, let's start with this gorgeous plate. This is from Prussia. Look at this plate with the holly, the berries, and the flowers. So everything was half price because I went on the second day. So I spent, this was $2.00. And I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. So because it has the holly and the berries, I may include it in my um, Christmas live sale this coming weekend. So there's that. Then I picked up this little cutie. <laughs> I'm keeping him though. He is going, this is Avon. He is going with my uh, collection of Avon uh, perfume bottles. He's so cute. Very dirty, but cute. 
grabbed a couple of vintage cookie cutters. <laughs> I love this guy here. He's cute. Grabbed this picture. I love it. It's, have, this background is a real pale pink, like a champagne pink. It's very pretty. I don't know why they have two of these on here, but I'll be taking that one off. But yeah, I just thought it was really pretty. So I got that for $1.50. Got this old vintage chopper for a dollar fifty. Has the red handle. Has the wooden uh, disc in the bottom. And oh, this is Hazel Atlas. Yeah, this is very cool. Uh, I may or may not be selling this in a live sale. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I do have another chopper that's more mid-century modern, and it's a turquoise. So I think I may switch that one out and keep this one and sell the turquoise one. <laughs> so I got that. Another uh, mid-century modern item is this awesome coffee uh, decanter. I'm pretty sure this is, no, this is Corning. At first I thought it was Pyrex. It's a six cup and it's in really great condition. It's got the lid, the handle. I just need to tighten it so it's loose. But I mean, I only paid a dollar for it. Can't go wrong. So this I'll probably sell in a live sale. Most of this stuff I will be reselling in, in my live sales. Unless I say otherwise. Oh, let me see. Okay. Oh, got this awesome rolling pin with the red handles. It has a little bit smaller um, base than most normal rolling pins. But I like it. Got another glass flower frog. Now, there was one of my fellow YouTubers that was saying she never finds the glass flower frogs. She always finds the metal ones. And of course, because I have CRS, I cannot remember who it was that said that. So if you are watching, can you let me know? Because you can have this if you would like it. All right. Got this really pretty, I, it's got a, a, a guy, a naked guy and a woman. It's quite saucy, as Misty would say, on it. And it's like, uh, it's kind of like, what do you call it? Luster wear or, you know, pearlescent. It's very pretty. This was only $1.50, so I grabbed it. It's like a little... Uh, vase or mm, whatever. <laughs> Another blast from the past, probably the 70s, late 60s, early 70s, is this juice carafe. One dollar I paid for it needs to be washed. All this stuff has to be washed. And this is actually Anchor Hawking. And I'm not sure if they made this for Tang or if it was just anchor hocking, no tang involved. <laughs> but it's very cool. I love the, the design on there. Very mid-century modern, I think. So I got that. Got another um, Avon decanter. They have the tape on here to keep his head on. Hold on a second. Let me take this off if I can without breaking anything. So it has this design on there. There he is. It's a good size. And there's there's still cologne in there. Uh, and it's actually 
Moonwind Cologne, and he is called the Ming Cat. So I got that to go with my collection. Got this really very cool, uh, it's actually a wall pocket, but you could also just sit it on a table. But it has the hole in the back to hang it on the wall. It has a lot of crazing, which I don't mind at all. I think it's pretty cool. This was a dollar fifty. Take the stickers off as I go. Oh, excuse me for a second, guys. Go ahead, have a sip of your drink, have a chip. Have a chip. Have a chip. Then I found this beautiful teapot. Is this not gorgeous? A dollar fifty I paid for it. I didn't see there is oh yes there is. There is a chip right there. Dang it. But oh well. It's still beautiful. It would still make a, a really nice decor piece. Very, very pretty. And there are no markings on the bottom. But I just thought it was gorgeous. So I got that. Um, I got these two, well, these three pieces for a friend. This was um, 50 cents. Look at this little guy. <laughs> How cute is that? Love it. Holland. Um, it has a sticker on the bottom, a barcode, so it's not old. And then I got this uh, set of salt and pepper shakers for $1.50. These are little cuties. Look at them. Oh my gosh, look how cute his, his face is. He's looking, they're looking to the side like, what's going on over there? Let's be nosy. What are they doing? <laughs> so cute. I got this piece because, and I know it's called like Daisy Buttons or something like that. Something Button. Daisy Button is the pattern name, but I've never seen it in this color. It's an ashtray. You can see the grooves there for the cigarettes. But I just love the color. It's a gorgeous, like, deep aqua color. No cracks, no chips or anything. Beautiful. Got this little, uh, this was a dollar. This was made in Germany. In fact, I think I had the matching salt and pepper shakers that went to this and I sold them on eBay. This beautiful little toothpick holder. It's got forget-me-not flowers on it pretty swirl pattern and there's Germany on the bottom but I'm pretty sure that I had the salt and pepper shakers that went to this got some beautiful crackle glass vases hand blown they were a um, dollar fifty a piece and I used to have, I don't know if she still watches, um, a subscriber that collected um, crackle glass. Um, this one is purple. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It has an applied handle. There's the pencil mark on the bottom. I love the color it's gorgeous so i got that one this one and actually i had one exactly like this not too long ago that i sold in a live sale i believe look at that handle isn't that beautiful that's an applied handle as well so i got that one and this one is a gorgeous emerald green Look at that. How pretty is that? The 
frontal. Gorgeous. Dollar fifty each. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. All right. Got a few more things from this estate sale. I grabbed these. I thought these were just so, so cool. I paid two dollars for the set. We have this one. It is so cool. It's made, uh, it's called Bel Casa by Gans, G-A-N-Z. So there was that one and this one. And this is the way they hang. Here's the little hanger on the back here. And I just, I took them right off the wall. They were hanging on the wall in the kitchen. And I saw a price tag on them, so I snatched them. <laughs> They're so cool. So I got those. And let me see. I'm going to set these. I don't know. I'll set them over here. Okay. Uh, got these. These are made in Hong Kong. Now, this little guy lost his wings, unfortunately. They're all gone. But these two have their wings. Little angels, praying angels. So I grabbed those. Just this lone little glass. Not sure who makes it. Could be Hazel Atlas, could be Swanky Swigs, could be Libby, could be um, Hazel Atlas. I have no idea. Anchor Hacking, I would have to look up the pattern to find out who makes it. Um, and if you guys, for all of you new newbies out there that are going to be reselling, there's a book that you can get. It's called The Decorated Tumbler. And it is a fantastic book for, um, for, um, yeah, for defining, I guess is the word, um, different glassware patterns. So I got my copy on, um, Amazon. So, um, you guys should check it out. It's a great, great tool for reselling. Then I got, wait till you see this, you guys. This is gorgeous. I paid $1.50 for it. And this is actually, uh, let me see here. It's Japan. I can't read what it says. It's got a foil sticker. Oh, here it is. It's um, Ukago. Ukago. This gorgeous teacup and saucer with the mother of pearl finish and the holly and the berries. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I will probably include this in my uh, Christmas sale. So look at how pretty that is. Beautiful. There's the sticker. So I got that and a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of flow blue. No cracks, no chips. Look at this. Look how deep that blue is. It's actually like, oh my gosh, it's absolutely stunning. And here's the back. It has the little uh, marks from the the things that they set these on inside the kiln. They have like little um, metal legs. And uh, those are the, the marks from those, the stands or whatever you want to call them. Um, it does have a mark, but I cannot 
there's no way I could even tr attempt to read that. But it is just beautiful. This, I am not sure uh, if I'm going to do an eBay on this or my, one of my live sales. But it is really, really gorgeous. All right. So, that was it for that estate sale. So, let me slide some of this stuff out of my way because the other stuff is way over there and I can't reach it. So, let me, sorry guys. <laughs> Oops. All right, let me move this. Oh, and I also got a plate rack too for nothing because it, the one plate that I got was on it, so. Okay. So I went to, um, actually, I thought it was a moving sale. But once I got in and I uh, started chatting with the people that were holding the sale, she said, oh, it's not a moving sale. She said, you know, my mother passed away a few months ago. Um, this is, you know, I'm doing her estate sale. And I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I told her I was very sorry, you know, and, um, but yeah, so, um, I have a s small haul from this sale. Prices were phenomenal. Like they just wanted to get rid of stuff. So let me start with the, these here. Oh my gosh, you guys, hold on. <laughs> All right. I got. A set of three McCoy canisters for two bucks. Here's the lid and it's the strawberry canisters. Now I have to wash them and I'm thinking that I could probably get this off, I hope. Um, it could be in, you know, like a manufacturer's defect, but Okay, you can barely see McCoy up on the top there. But I got the big one. And then I got two smaller ones with the lids. This one you could see McCoy better. It's in the middle there. There it is. So, I mean, two dollars I was like OMG sold all right so I got those and then pardon me while I reach over here and grab my other stuff oh hey Jess can you go grab my black light for me it, it's in the um in the dresser, in the top drawer, on the right hand side. All right. Can we say, <clears throat> oh my goodness, what the heck happened there? God bless you. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Well, you gotta wait till I show them. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. 1970s, is this not the coolest candle holder? I mean, that's what I'm assuming it is. This would look gorgeous in the fall. Oh, I absolutely love it. I, I, I'm having a really hard time selling this. It's so awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna insert a picture of this with a candle in it at some point in this video, probably right here. But it's gorgeous. So that. <laughs> this is the funniest stinking statue or figurine that I have ever seen. <laughs> Look at this guy, okay? <laughs> he is hilarious. 
I love it. <laughs> his, his face is so funny. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> I had to grab this. He's awesome. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with it. I'll probably sell it, but I it's just so cute. And they had, I, oh, I was so mad. They had a buffet cabinet, and I saw some Joseph's Originals in it. I'm like, oh, my God. And they were, like, priced real cheap. Well, that's because they were all broken. The one was standing like this, and the arm was gone, like just a sleeve. The other one, the bottom of her dress was all cracked. And there was an angel one. It was missing. One wing was broken off and half the halo. I'm like, well, <laughs> those are staying there. There's, you know, can't sell those like that. So I just, I had gotten all excited for nothing. But what are you going to do? These I just love. Um, they are Royal Majestic Bells. Fine quality bisque porcelain, and I cannot read that date. I think it says 1980. Look at these two cuties. Wait, let me move my hand away from his face. There we go. Look at how cute they are. Look at that. So pretty. And they are made by Jasco, but they're just so beautiful. I could not pass them up. Then I got this beautiful Lennox vase. Look at this. Let me take the sticker off. It was only a dollar. Hang on, I can get the sticky stuff off of there so you could get the full effect. I have like tape and stuff everywhere. Look at this beautiful vase. I love the florals and the bird on this vase. So pretty. I believe those are, are they cherry blossoms? I don't know. I'm not sure. But it's gorgeous. It has the gold around the rim. Just a beautiful piece. Then I just grabbed a couple useful things. This really cool swing line stapler. Look at that color. Oh my God, I love it. Absolutely. It's called a swing line cub. So I got that, Long Island City, New York. And a small flashlight. I have to figure out how to open it so I can put the batteries in it. I know that's not it. But anyway, I got that. <clears throat> okay, Jess, come on over. <laughs> well, just do what you're gonna do and I'll just I'll shine the light. These gorgeous, look at the pattern on there. Pink depression uranium glass. Is that pink? I'm sorry, green. What am I doing? I'm like. <laughs> and it looks like they have shamrocks or something on them. They're just gorgeous. And there's a set, I got a set of three. Here's the other one. And they glow like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I got those as well. And I believe the glasses were like three for a dollar. Okay. It's like, oh my goodness. Thank you. Uh, then I got a few more things. I got this gorgeous crystal Christmas tree tree ornament. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. It's just gorgeous. Boy, does that sparkle. 
So that, and then these are the cutest little thing ever. Hang on, let me get them. Okay, let me show you. I got, these are ornaments. I got these two little cuties. <laughs> these are made in Hong Kong. Those two. And these two. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? Oh my goodness, look at those faces. And then I got this little girl for me. She's going in my, she's a precious moment, 1997. She's going in my curio cabinet. Look how cute she is, little angel. <laughs> my daughter's like, oh, just what you need, mom, another precious moments. I said, that's right. <laughs> Then, oh, another useful thing. I got a package of wall anchors. I mean, all these things were like a quarter or something like that. So I got those. Now, I got this, and it's and it's broken. I need to glue it. But I'm not exactly sure what this is. I mean, to me, it's like a serving set. And I don't know if this is Bakelite. Let me rub it. I think it is. I actually think it is. I think this is Bakelite. It's this, and then it came with the set of uh, cocktail forks. So I got that. But yeah, I think that's Bakelite. Not sure, but it, it's supposed to smell like ammonia when you when you rub it. And I don't know. Well, oh, there goes the thing. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Let me know what you think. And I just dropped the little oh there it is. Uh, the little handle. All right. That I have to glue. Then I purchased, uh, I these, I guess, tend to sell well on eBay. Um, so I grabbed, wait a minute, I got a sticker stuck on my thumb. Uh, these two sets of, they were 25 cents each, ice tongs. This one's really nice. It has like that hammered finish on it. And then those are just plain. I got three pieces of jewelry. This is really cool. This vintage pin. I thought that was really neat. This is um, Sarah Coventry. And it says it on the back. Um, I don't know. I know you guys won't be able to see that because it's blurry, but. And then I got this real pretty, um, it's like a choker. It's really pretty. So. I'm trying to decide if I want to sell any of my vintage jewelry. I have some really cool pieces and I just love them. I'm having a hard time selling them. Um, so I, I just have to give it a little more time and then maybe I'll be willing to like let them go. <laughs> and then my daughter said that she wanted some real pretty platters for her shower for these uh, finger sandwiches to go on and the cookies and stuff like that. So I met, I just only, I only saw a couple. I grabbed this. This is, um, Fire King. It's got the swirl pattern with the gold on the edges. This is a small one. And then I saw this one and it's gorgeous. This is um, Congo, China, hand painted. And I think that I, I see, see this big chip here? I think I did that in the car. Um, I'm so mad. It's really, it's beautiful. 
but we're still going to use it. It's just gorgeous. Yep, I chipped it and made like a, a crack. See that crack there? Dang it. But we're still going to use it. So we're going to need quite a few of these platters. So our that's our next um, project. <laughs> Her shower is uh, September. Did she say the 27th? I think that's what it is. It's either September 27th or 29th. So got plenty of time to find. I find these platters constantly. So um, is that everything? I believe it is, guys. So in the comments section below, how many times did you take a break to go to the bathroom? <laughs> and refill your drink. And grab a snack. <laughs> uh, 41 minutes worth. So that's not too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot longer than that. But um, yeah, so I got some really great deals. I spent $12.85 on all the stuff that I just showed you from that particular sale. 35 at the other one. And uh, like I said, about 15 15 to 18 dollars at the doctor's estate sale so i think i did pretty darn good uh yeah so that's gonna do it for me guys and gals everybody's guys you know i'm from new york what can i say so um anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to comment share and subscribe and hit the notification bell so YouTube will let you know anytime I upload a new video. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great week. I'm sure I will be back before my Christmas live sale this coming Saturday at three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I have to find somebody to help me again because my daughter's working again. Um, Nathaniel said he would help me, but that would be seven o'clock in the morning, his time. And I really don't want to wake this poor man up <laughs> and vintage Vinny can't help me cause he's working. And I don't want to ask poor Alex again, because she has her live sale on Friday and she's got all that packing and stuff to do on Saturday. So, um, there are a couple other people that said that they would help me out. So, uh, we're looking good. All right, guys. I will catch you very soon. Take care. Comb your hair. Bye for now.